Hey, hey everyone, J3B here, and I'll tell you, a question I get asked a lot is, how do you clean your iron relics? How do you get them so your axe heads turn out looking like this? Well, I happen to have found one today, so I'm going to show you how to clean and preserve your iron relics. So to start things off, you guys are going to need a bucket. This one I've used many times, I know it works well. Then you're going to need an old cell phone charger. And what I've done is I've snipped the ends off of both, positive, negative. I've attached this so I can grip the metal. This here is the end you want to put your sacrificial metal on. This is the piece of metal that's going to disintegrate while you take the rust off your relic. This here is an old piece of carbon that I've saved just to use here. So this is what I'm going to use as my sacrificial metal. You guys can use old nails, stainless steel spoons, but remember if you do stainless steel, to do it outdoors. So the next thing you'll want to do is put some water. You don't need a lot, just enough to cover this when it sits in the bottom of the container. Now, the what you should do is take a piece of steel wool, run this under some cold water, give it a light scrub just to get any excess off that you can before putting it in. Want to hook it up place it in. I'll show you guys what it looks like on the inside in a moment. Put in your sacrificial metal and now you want to take some table salt or some baking soda. Put some in there. It helps move the electrolytes around so it activates and works faster. So we are good to go. Next, plug it in. I can just see the bubble starting to form. It takes a couple minutes for it to really get going. But you let it sit for a bit, and I'll show you guys shortly. Okay guys, doesn't that look yummy? It has been 15 minutes. Mm-mm-mm, dinner's looking good. Look at that yumminess. Isn't that awesome, guys? It's a brewing. I'm going to take it out. It's been in for about two hours now. I'm going to show you what it looks like. It is coming along great. Let's give it a flip. You can start to see some of the original metal. And it's looking good. Another couple hours. We'll see another difference. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. This stew is looking so good. So guys, it is the next day. A new batch of water. This has been in here for about an hour. But I am going to tell you one thing. Do not leave this going overnight. It is not safe. It is literally cut wires in water. That is the definition of unsafe. Do not leave this plugged in going overnight. Empty the bin, dry everything off, and then restart again in the morning. But I'm just about now ready to take this out and show you guys how it looks. So this is how it turned out. The only piece that's left is right there, and I'm not worrying about that. That adds character. But now the next step, put it in a pan, and bake it. Let it bake for an hour to an hour and a half, and I'll show you guys the next step. Okay, and for this next step, oven mitts are a must. What you do is you take out the axe head, put something that will fit through it. This one's a little small, so I can't use my normal piece of wood. So that will hang just like that. You take your candle, and you guys watch this. You literally just rub. So guys, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope this helps. This is the same method I used on my French trade axe that dates from 1575. The same process, same design, same result.